Well, school is just around the corner, and before it begins, some parents might have to break some bad news to their kids. The classroom is now a no-phone zone. Here's how it'll work. Students from kindergarten to grade 8 won't be allowed to use their phones at all during the school day, and high school kids will only have to stay off their phones while they're in the class. Manitoba was not the first to make this move. Provinces like Saskatchewan and Alberta also have bans in place. To learn more, we've reached the Education Minister, Nello Altamar. Good morning. Good morning, Emily. How are you doing? Oh, pretty well. So good, tell good. us, yeah, tell us how this cell phone ban will work. This uh, cell phone ban is in place because, we, you know, we work collaboratively with parents. We want to create uh, learning environments that are distraction-free, and uh, by removing cell phones, we'll will certainly do that. Mm, okay, so why do the rules differ between the different grades? You know, as we heard, it's a full ban for K-8, to but not so much for high school students. We, we also believe that schools are the place to learn about uh, responsible digital citizenship and how to do that in a way that, uh, because, I mean, they're not going away. Cell phones are, gonna, are part of our lives, and schools can play an integral role in helping students become citizens that won't be easily distracted and know when they're heading down certain rabbit holes, know when they're becoming less efficient at uh, focusing in class. So schools are best places to learn how to do that, and we're going to support uh, educators and families in getting that done. Well, and you mentioned that idea of digital distraction. Who did you consult with as you came up with this plan to, to learn about things like that? Well, we saw a large body of research that says these effects on children are real depression anxiety trying to you know it feeds that dopamine piece in your brain these apps are created by people that are really skilled at distracting us those dings those reminders all of those pieces and um, you know we have to create these distraction free zones in schools so kids can focus on what the teacher is doing and really the the positive effects of how to be together instead of just feeding your singular desires. So this is a piece that really got us going. Hmm. And so if a kid does get caught with their phone during the class, what do you think should happen to that student? Well, it's a learning experience, right? This is a time when teachers do their thing and say that uh, it's not appropriate to use in class, put that away, and involve the parent and family. I mean, we can't do this alone. Teachers have never done it alone, right? The most effective educators are the ones that are regular communication with their families, and uh, that's going to continue. Mm -hmm. And you touched on, you know, how it might benefit students. They might learn how to better interact with one another, another, how to better focus. But what about the teachers? How might it benefit them? Well, in the end, uh, don't we want the structure free zones in our classrooms? The other piece, too, uh, teachers will play an important role here. They're going to be an exemplar. They're also going to exhibit proper digital citizenship. Their device will also be put away, unless they're using it for a lesson purpose, right? But they won't be responding to uh, to a ding from a particular app or a text from a friend either. They're going to be exemplars in the classroom, and students will follow that direction. Teachers are really good at that. Schools are really good at that. And families expect that of their public schools. How did the educators respond when you told them the news that, you know, the whole province was going to go to this ban? They're ready for it. A number of educators have validated what we're doing. Research is quite clear on this. And we want to, of course, be creating our schools for the betterment of our youth. And that's what we're going to do with this ban. You were a school principal for many years. Mm -hmm. Did you ever deal with issues over cell phones? You know what, I, was, uh, I retired at the end of 2018. Surprisingly, we did have issues. Surprisingly, we were finding that uh, parents were providing these devices often, you know, innocently, right, Emily? Because, you know, you get a new device, what do you do with your old one? You give it to your child. And so because they are still quite powerful devices, we were finding that um, what was happening is that it became a piece where you know, the, the families that were affluent and able to provide these devices were doing that, and those that weren't so much weren't, be, weren't able to do that and created some division in the school. And so we also want to eliminate those pieces from uh, our Manitoba classrooms. 
And of course, as a principal, I mean, that's often where kids get sent if they need some these, discipline. These are learning opportunities, Emily, right? <laughs> yeah. And that's how we have to view. I mean, this is where school, this is why schools are so important, right? We know this. And uh, it's never about uh, punishment. It's always about having the opportunity to learn and become a better human being. But do you think maybe more kids are going to get sent to the principal, you know, once the teachers have to start enforcing this ban? A lot of kids aren't going to be able to just keep it in their pocket or their backpack. I, I, I have a, t- a tremendous amount of faith in our educators. They're going to work together and make their schools distraction-free zones. Okay, and I hopefully all the students will play along with that. Check back, Emily. <laughs> Get talk to some teachers, talk to some principals. You know, give me a call back in a month, and I'll, we'll let you know how it's going. Well, in fact, we spoke to some Winnipeg students earlier this week, good, and good. and they said the technology in their classrooms is often outdated. So sometimes they have to use their phones to do some of the class activities that require a device. I mean, are there plans to update classroom technology to go along with this ban? Of course, you know, we increase public school funding, and I'm sure those increases in funding will reflect in your technology in the classroom, and we would look forward to seeing that. <laughs> okay, and then parents, okay. some parents have weighed in saying they're worried because they usually use their cell phone and check in on their kids. What would you say to parents concerned that they're going to lose that connection? You know, in the end, um, the best piece is communicating with your kid. You and I, when we were growing up, Emily, you know, I would say to my parents, I'll be at this place, a particular place at four o'clock. It's not, you know, I picked up a, a landline that was available. I know that sounds old, but I mean, we we managed to communicate with our parents. Kids are really good problem solvers. Families are good problem solvers. They'll find a way. And then just finally, before you go, uh, what do you think success will look like at the end of the school year when it comes to this ban? Like, what are you going to be measuring for and looking for at the end of the year? Well, I mean, other than uh, the obvious in, uh, in test scores and, and more calmer learning environments, we're going to, you know, I, I talked to a lot of kids in these, since I was appointed in last uh, October. And a, you'd be surprised at how a number of students said they look forward to having a distraction-free zone even for just a little bit, right? Because, I mean, we're not naive enough to think that, that kids aren't going to be on their devices outside of school time. But we're also going to equip them with the tools necessary so that they know when they're down that rabbit hole, so that they know when they've gone too long on their device. Uh, Do you know that if you go to the top right corner and you scroll down, you can uh, set focus times and everything on your phone? Did you know you can do that? Mm, That's a good tool to know about. Yeah, Exactly. And that's on uh, a lot of the Android and, of course, the Apple phones. So these are things that we're going to teach kids so that they're aware of how they're using digital technology. Well, thanks so much for joining us this morning, Minister. I do encourage you to check back. Okay, I'm sure we will. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Nello Altamar is Manitoba's Education Minister.